Hello, everyone, and welcome to BSBI Faculty of Creative Industries. I would like to start with uh, introducing myself, which uh, my name is Liz Fernando, and I'm Head of Academic Operation Arts at BSBI. I would like to start with uh, introducing you our very unique collaboration here, which we have with the University for the Creative Arts. And as the first time in history, actually, the UCA programs are launching on the continent in the European Union. And BSBI is going to take care of it in the sense that we are launching these programs in October 21 here with our first intake here. And um, what we're doing here is we are um, presenting a premium degrees here to uh, creatively interested students. The UCS, for your background, is the highest paid specialist creative university in the Guardian 21 league table and is within the top three ranked in the complete university guide. So you're really getting a premium uh, uh, degree, um, as I would like to call it here. Moving on, um, BSBI as a school is actually known um, towards more a, a kind of a business background. But what we actually thought is BSBI also stands for innovation. So it's Berlin School of Business and Innovation. And here comes in the, the, the point that we are kind of want to make clear here is um, enterprise leadership and success are our main USPs, yeah, as we call it, and that is definitely applicable also to creative studies, and it should be more applied to creative studies. It's not anymore that creativity, industry, and you know, business-minded um, students have to be separated. So, based on these principles, we are to equip our students with the in-demand competencies in today's digital creative industry. We definitely ensure affordable and transparent fee absolutely flexible hours, dedicated student support, and free professional certificate. Our focus is actually to thrive, to make our students, and ensure the environment, to make our students as to thrive as nothing else than leaders in their field. What we're launching here in October is um, the three initial programs, the BA Honors Animation, BA Graphic Design and BA Illustration. And we are launching actually two routes here, which is the International Foundation Art and Design in the four-year route, as well as the possibility for a direct entry. And I'm going to explain you a bit on, on, on actually the advantages of, of joining us for the four-year route, which includes that International Foundation year. There's another very important point that I would like to highlight in our webinar today is we have a really cherry on top here. And um, that is basically that uh, uh, on the occasion of the launch, BSBI is offering a unique opportunity of a full scholarship for a very talented student in the creative design sector because we really appreciate that creativity is not always about grades, it's not always about how you performed in school, it's about your creativity and the level of creativity. I will come towards that towards the end of our webinar. Uh, please hold on until that, until I'm going to reveal our little cherry, our little gift for you. Um, moving on, uh, I'm just going to explain you how it actually works at BSBI slash UCA uh, in Hamburg. Um, yeah, as I said, we are going to launch these creative programs in Hamburg. Hamburg is within the European Union, one of the biggest creative hubs for the creative industry. And that's why we're situated actually right in the heart of it. As I said, we have um, the BA program for animation, graphic design and illustration. And we have two routes actually, the three year one and the four year route. And you can see here, the four year route includes an, an international foundation art design and media studies that goes on for one year, which is actually year zero for you if you would like to join us. The advantages of this you can see here is English for academic studies, exploring practices, investigating specialist practice and final major projects. Um, those are advantages which you can see in a very extra ex abstract form. And now I'm going to explain you what it actually means. Um, we have, when we enter from, let's say, A levels, a transition period into higher education. And International Foundation situates itself right at the heart of that transition. Where you're coming from A level, where you're a bit restricted in terms of creativity. I mean, you have only maybe only once a week art classes, and now you really want to thrive and you really want to develop your creative skills. But you're still maybe not sure like where you want to situate yourself. 
And this is where foundation comes in. Foundation is going to help you in your creative pathway and you should understand it this way. So we do have um, a blank canvas, a white canvas, which all of you know. So when you have a canvas in front of you, it's just waiting for you to, to really go on it and, and expand your creativity on it. So understand it is when you come from your A-levels, when you come from any other background, it's that white canvas. And when you join us during foundation studies, this is what we are going to kind of support you, how you actually start drawing on that white canvas understand foundation studies as an art lab a lab for art a lab for creativity it's a blank canvas and we will not push you into that corner or to any other corner or whatever it's really a laboratory style i would really like to keep you all that kind of image in mind that it's lab it's a lab it's a kind of lab i was saying that you know it's i mean the key word here is explore investigate research communicate do that on materials and techniques. It's practical elements. It, it's something that really enhances you in that one year to develop a strong creative portfolio. There's some of you who already have creative portfolios, but nevertheless, it's always good to tweak on these kind of matters if you really want to have a substantial kind of outline for uh, uh, yeah, applications for creative studies. Now, I'm going to come later to that point, you know, for BSBI, what we are offering here for you is if you join us in Foundation Studies, we do not require a portfolio for you because what we do is within that year, you're creating your creative portfolio for a direct progression into your respective BA. But nevertheless, there are also people who join us today, students who join us, so interested prospective students who think I already have a nice portfolio. And even that, we are going to show you how you can actually tweak it a bit and you know hand it in for as what I mentioned the competition what we're having here for a full scholarship because that is based on your portfolio so we are going to talk a little bit about that so as I said explore investigate research and communicate your ideas that is one of the main key points that what many students sometimes forget because it is in your head but you might not really communicate it fully and hundred percent experiment with materials and techniques finally from your blank canvas you can have something amazing you know you can have something growing you can have your own art lab which is not a blight wank uh, uh, canvas anymore it's full of color it's full of ideas it's full of concepts what you see here is um, you know more and more industries are also picking up on this idea of creativity and the lab idea and what you see here is the gucci uh, art lab here which in, which is situated in Italy and you can see here that more and more industries really set on the idea of like combining the idea of creativity enterprise and leadership and of course success foundation studies and portfolio in the making as I said understand it as a lab of investigation acquisition of skills in your specified discipline it could be also that you're joining us and say like oh I'm interested to study graphic design but what happens in that one year is that you really figure out, no, I'm actually more into illustration. I'm more into that, you know, drawing aspect of, of matters. And this is what we want to enable you. We want to enable you to experiment with material, with a specified approach and empower you actually. The key word here would be also empower you and to develop a certain autonomy and not, you know, stumble from A levels or you know even maybe vocational backgrounds you're having into something uh, complex like um, uh, higher education creative design on a premium level that UCA is actually offering you and um, this is what we want to help you to uh, kind of uh, develop um, you might also ask us what do you mean by portfolio a portfolio is always a collection of your work which shows the ideas you have developed over a period of time. It demonstrates your personality, your abilities, commitment, and helps us actually to evaluate your full potential. It never means that it has to be, you know, ready, full-blown work. What we want to see, what I want to underline here, is we would like to see your personality and your abilities, your potential. That is something what you have to keep in mind. Not fully developed work. That is not always a must. Producing an art portfolio is not always taken lightly. 
uh, top art schools always accept a very small percentage of applicants. Here comes in what these BI offers you. We offer you a direct progression into your respective BA if you join us for your foundation years and do this in a mentored kind of scheme uh, where you really understand how to produce a great portfolio, which is absolutely crucial. It is actually impossible, I would like to highlight that as well, to generate a list of criteria that is appropriate and that will guarantee you, um, you know, at other art schools or where we can say this is the perfect portfolio. It's not possible in creativity and you might also all know that. But that's why I say like under a kind of a, a guardian scheme here in the, in the foundation studies, we will actually lead you. I'm showing you just a few examples and um, as I said, we don't need to see full-blown works. We need to see how your thinking is developing. And I'm showing you a sketchbook here, which is a beautiful sketchbook, like from a fashion, fashion design background. And you can see here there is textures, there is actually, um, you know, drawings of these textures, then as well as text. And we can see your thinking. So that's always a good hint in how you can actually like hand in your portfolio to show us even slides of that sketchbook which you're having because the end, I mean the, the end result, the product is always based on these kind of ideas and that's why I'm showing this. I have sample one here, um, which is, uh, you know, uh, a graphite pencil work uh, with charcoal. And this is also something where, where you can kind of see this is a technical kind of a study. You know, somebody has looked at small elements of it where you can also see and then, you know, observational drawing, I always call it. And you can see on the top, you know, somebody has like put up the full room of different, different drawings and observation of that cycle. And that is actually something we would like to see, your development and where do you start and where does it end and not finally the end product here, which is maybe, let's say, maybe on the bottom of, of, of uh, the slide here. Sample two, um, most of the pieces are personal artworks. And here it's a, it's a sample of, of a portfolio that shows a combination of work that has been done, that has been produced during foundation studies, as well as somebody who has produced it on their, let's say, personal uh, level. That is also always possible, as I told you, as a reminder. So what we offer you is also um, come in with your portfolio, even if you're very talented, we'll tweak it. And if you would like to um, be part of our amazing portfolio competition that we're offering uh, on the launch of uh, the BSBI Hamburg campus, is just take the small hints I'm giving you today and Louis is going to give you today, um, how you can actually tweak, enhance and empower your portfolio and this is what you can see here you can also see here in the bottom a small sketchbook again observational drawing taken into account for later a character kind of a study i have sample three here which shows a really convincing range of mixed media and experimentation as well as in-depth compositional exploration and development of ideas. Again, what is important is the development of ideas. We don't want to see like the final, final product. We want to see how did you get to the product actually? And what was the idea? Was it some sort of, of yeah, as I said from the first example, a cycle that I saw standing somewhere on the road. And from that on, I developed a creative idea, a creative yeah, strength, let's say. Uh, coming to my last sample is some very interesting point. Here. Again, an observational, an observational drawing. And this student here has kind of turned it into from 2D into 3D. You can see ceramics, you can see oil paintings. But what you can see here is the abstract kind of formation of it. And that is also something that is a very convincing piece because we can see that student here has really engaged with that kind of circular circular shape in different formats and has been going out to observe what is actually out there. And um, it brings me to that point again where I was just mentioning. Uh, at BSBI, we offer you this amazing opportunity to join us for Foundation International Route. So that means you want to enter for graphic design. Uh, you choose the pathway for your international. That means your foundation year is included in those studies. You're going to study with us for four years. You don't have to hand in your portfolio. You will produce your portfolio. 
during that one year. And that is going to be an amazing year. I can tell that to you from my own experience. We will be talking to Louis about his experience and um, the other opportunity for you who are the ones who want to join our portfolio competition is the uh, year one BA direct entry for the respective studies of animation, illustration, graphic design. Even you just like listen carefully. There's lots of conversation, you know, how we actually um, can enhance portfolio applications. Uh, I hope that is kind of clear, whatever, if it's not on plan, online, like check online on our BCR website, there's all like explained. And um, you can also see here, we have portfolio submission requirements, which you can check here. We always said a portfolio collect, uh, is a collection of your best work, the work that really makes you shine. And uh, on the same hand, it should contain sketches, painting, digital art, design, whatever your field of interest is. Is we'll be only accepting at these uh, portfolios digitally, and um, it will be forwarded now. Admission teams will be in touch with you. You can also see here there's like technical instructions here. Um, every every applicant uploads up maximum 12 PDF slides and a written comment here of 500 words. That's always very important. It's not something neglected. If you want to join for higher studies, you should not neglect. There is a good level of theory as well. Um, you also see the file size here, it's 512 MB maximum, 400 pixels, either height or width. I would like to close this and lead over um, saying that it's an invest in your future. Yes, there are tuition fees. Yes, you're spending three or four years of time, but it's your future. And as I said, bringing back to the point, UCA is really proud to deliver UCA story of success, one of the first institutions within the European Union that does so, that brings your UK premium degrees to the continent in Europe in a beautiful environment of the creative industry hub of Europe that is Hamburg. And for those of you who don't know of what kind of statue UCA is, UCA alumni are the creators of beautiful Peppa Pig, a really great example of successful UCA alumni. And we don't have to look much. I mean, there are numerous examples of how successful their programs are. And this is now what we, what we are showing you is uh, how BSBI actually appreciates your creative talent. It's this amazing, really, really amazing opportunity for you to study 100% um, free, study for free with a scholarship on the full tuition fees for the respective three years of study. It's massive. If you look at our tuition fees, we are talking about um, several thousands of euro. Study at the top university of the UK. Do that in the beautiful environment of Hamburg. Do that with wonderful lecturers. There's going to be really wonderful setup of lecturer who have direct industry links who are not far away from the industry we are all like practical thinkers we are not you know far away from what happens in the real world and this is how actually the bsbi management the bsbi schools really wants to enhance and wants to empower you again it's the word of empowerment and you have the chance here as a BA direct entry to submit your portfolio. You have seen how a good portfolio should look like. You have given like a direct answer even. Like as we said, we cannot tell you this is the perfect, perfect portfolio or this is the best portfolio or this is whatever. Share with us who you are. Um, this is my final slide here, the blank canvas. Come and join us. Come and draw with us. Come paint with us on this do whatever you want to do. We are really looking forward to welcome you here to fill up this blank canvas. And I'm thanking you for your attention and um, looking forward to welcome you, see, uh, welcome you soon at BSBI Creative Industry Campus in Hamburg. This is the start uh, login kind of page for you. If you want to start uh, you know, creating your application, that's the page on the BSBI webpage and there is nothing left for me to say then thank you very much for your attendance.